of the 13th dynasty. And it's his time when this happens, according to Manetho. Have you heard of Manetho? He's the Egyptian priest who wrote a history of the Egyptians who mentions, quoted in Josephus, who mentions this. And this is quite striking. In the time of a king called Tutimaeus, remember he's writing in Greek again for the Ptolemies, Tutimaeus is Dudimos. In his reign, for what cause I know not, a blast of God smote us. And God here is in the singular. You would expect an Egyptian to be writing, and the gods smote us. But he doesn't. He refers to one God smiting the Egyptians. And he continues, and Kai in Greek, which means what follows on from God smiting. Unexpectedly, from the regions of the east across the Sinai, invaders of obscure race marched in confidence of victory against our land. By main force, they easily seized it without striking a blow. And having overpowered the rulers of the land, they then burned our cities ruthlessly, raised to the ground the temples of the gods, and treated all the natives with cruel hostility, massacring some, and leading into slavery the wives and children of others. That is the punishment of Egypt. That is post-Exodus, the invasion of the Hyksos, coming into Egypt, being able to take over the land without striking a blow. There is no army to defend Egypt. Why? It's at the bottom of the sea.